What's up, my wonderful peeps? Yeah, man, so as per usual, I was going through the Sportsmax website just looking at a couple of stories and I saw an article pertaining to something that former West Indies wicketkeeper Jeffrey Dujan said. You know, so I decided that I'm going to zoom in on it to see exactly what the legend is saying. So, based on what I'm seeing here in the article, Dujan is of the opinion that She Hope is still currently the best batsman in the region. And he's also of the opinion that the out of favor batsman will turn the corner pretty soon. You know, even though he has been struggling. Bear in mind, guys, that She Hope is now 27. So it's not as if he's 23, 20, 24, and we are working with him. We are talking about a professional cricketer that is 27 and going on. I mean, it would be correct to say that, um, or it would be fair to say that uh, Shea Hope would have been given a lot of opportunity, a lot of chances to redeem himself where Test Cricket is concerned after he would have um, laid down a couple of bad performances. You know, so it's not like he didn't get the opportunity to try and play himself out of the, the bad patch. I mean, where ODI cricket is concerned, his stats aren't the worst in the world, but as it regards to Test cricket, you know, he has been struggling for the past two to three years. As a matter of fact, over the past couple of years, I think in Test cricket, Hope um, has only managed to average, I think, about 19.48. So we see that, you know, he needs to step up his game. And as it regards to batting, you know, most of the time, you want your top batsman to be, to be performing in at least two um, former test cricket and ODI you know usually you would be looking for your most consistent player or your best batsman in ODI cricket to push on and to hammer down a spot in the test team especially when you don't have a lot of cricketers we're not talking about probably a England or Australia that you know have cricketers in abundance where they can say all right this is my ODI team this is my test team um, where Shea Hope is concerned and his talent you want that man to be able to um, play both formats as regards to Test and ODI not necessarily T20 cricket but based on his skill set you want him to be able to play Test cricket and um, it is because of his poor run of form over the couple of years why people were actu actually calling for his, um, his part you know I mean I think the selectors would probably have pushed um, and, and would have taken him to New Zealand and things like that but based on the pressure that they were coming under they, you know, they, they found that they actually had to leave him out because his poor run of farm and the, 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 the tour to England would have ha put a couple of nails in his coffin as he regards his selection because in those three test matches he didn't re I think his, the highest score that he got was 31 in a particular inning so you know they just had to, had to leave him out for a point in time Right now, the greatest thing is that he's still working on his craft. Um, so the regional competition coming up it might only be 50 overs, but it's a good opportunity for him to go out there. Probably get a couple of nut outs, just bat through the innings and things like that. Because there, seem, there still seems to be hope in hope, if you get what I'm saying. Um, because based on what I'm seeing in the article here, Jeffrey Dujan is saying that he, he, you know, he has no doubt that um, she hope will most definitely turn the corner pretty soon. Personally, I can't say whether or not he will turn the corner, but based on his skill set and his talent, I am hoping that, you know, that will be the case. Because at the end of the day, it's not like we have talent in abundance where um, the, the highest level is concerned. I mean, we have a couple of cricketers that, you know, are, they are doing their thing, but when it comes on to the international scene, they are not as consistent as we would want them to be. So, one can only hope that, um, as regards to Shea, he will be able to go there and put up some good performances because I think we have a couple of tours coming up in 2021. And once they don't um, get postponed or cancelled, then you would want somebody like a Shea Hope in your team to, to, to actually contribute where the scoring is concerned. I mean, Jeffrey Dujan is somebody that is usually very frank. He usually calls it as how he sees it. You know, he doesn't really sugarcoat anything. So if he's saying that she hope is the best that we got and he will be turning the corner soon, we can just um, hope that, you know, that will be the case. Technically, hope is pretty solid. So if this means that he needs to tweak something to, to be more consistent, then we will be looking forward to that. Because at the end of the day, 
you know, when you go into different conditions, you have to learn to adapt. If it is the case that you're going to be playing in England and the ball is swinging all over the place, I don't know if you decide that you want to bat a couple of inches outside of your crease to try and, you know, to try and meet the ball, then so be it. You know, these professional cricketers, I am certain that they will find ways to come up with how to, to battle certain things, but shouldn't be taking so long. You know, and as I said earlier, hope would have proven to us that the talent is there and the skill set is there. So if something needs to be tweaked, then you know that shouldn't be so hard i mean we all know that hope is 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 very um gifted but we want him to consistently score runs for us being gifted and being talented don't just cut it we want people to consistently score runs for us and remember now you know guys it's not like the, the youth don't have the potential you know because we are talking about somebody that averages 52.20 in odi cricket and it's not like he's usually going out there and blasting away Usually when we see Shea Hope in ODI cricket, you know, normally he construct his innings very good. It's not like he goes out there and plays some rash shots and plays some lucky shots and gets some runs. He's usually very solid in his ODI performances. So, you know, that's why we always say, boy, it would be good for him to slot into the test team, bring that form over from ODI cricket to test team. Remember, guys, we are talking about somebody that, um, you know, has nine ODI centuries and I think about 17 um, have centuries in 78 ODI games so they, 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 as we said they, the talent is there but he just needs to transfer the same sort of form from ODI to test cricket and I doubt this is only on Shea Hope but the, the coaches also need to see what is going on as I said earlier um, sometimes it's not only about your technique when you go from ODI to test cricket but you need to you need the coaching, you need the coaching to, to, to actually get you into the frame of mind to say, hear what, this is why I do, I apply myself in this situation. Sometimes cricketers won't be able to switch from 2020 to ODI to test cricket, you know. That is why we have the select, um, the, the coaches, they are the ones that need to try and help you to get into the frame of mind to say, hear what, this is test cricket, this is why I apply myself and things like that. Having said all of this though, guys, um, it is clear and it is easy to see why Jeffrey Dujan is able to say that boy right now Shea Hope is the best that we have got and he will be turning the corner soon because his ODI stats very good 50, averaging 52 is actually up there amongst some of the best in the world you know so we just have to hope that um, once again no pun intended hope that Hope will be able to um, to bring this sort of farm from ODI to test cricket you know, because we can't continue losing our top players like this. On several occasions, we would have seen where cricketers um, in the West Indies come out and, you know, they dominate in one particular format and they are not able to transfer from this format to the next. And as I said, we don't have cricketers in abundance like that. So when we have a top ODI cricketer, we want him to be able to adapt to test cricket and to perform for us. But, you know, I, I can see where Dujan is coming from as it regards to hope. Because looking at his ODI stats, you can easily see that boy, this guy is very gifted. But at the end of the day, as I said earlier, being gifted and being talented, you know, it doesn't really cut it. You have to go out there and to show that, you know, this is why people have faith in you and, and all of that. But let me know what you think about Shea Hope. Will he bounce back pretty soon? Will he be somebody that um, will anchor the West Indies in years to come? Sports to the bone. Keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment if you have not yet subscribed. Remember to subscribe to the channel, I'm out.